In this video, I'll show you how to capture customer's email on step one before the checkout. Let's get straight into it. For this example, we're actually breaking up our checkout into multiple steps. We can add more steps as well, but I've just selected two for now. So first, we've got this welcome step where the customer needs to enter in their email address. So for example, once we agree to the terms and condition, it will automatically capture that customer's email address. So let's hit I agree. And here it's actually creating an account for us, right? So this way you can create a automation in the background, which says if a customer has created an account, but they haven't made a purchase, then put them through a particular sequence. Okay. And then of course, a customer can go ahead and complete the checkout. One other thing to note, let's say, for example, if the customer enters in an email address that's already on the system, then what it will do is it will show a login field here instead, and then it can just continue with their purchase. So it's a frictionless way to capture the customer's email address. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the AOV up checkout, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, upload and install it. Once you've done so, we'll navigate over to all in one at checkout here. And then we'll go ahead and create a new checkout form. All right. And now we'll go ahead and create our multi-step checkout. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to actually create a two-step checkout. Okay. So on the first step, we'll have our email form where we'll collect the customer's email and then they'll need to accept our terms and conditions as well, which gives us the ability to collect their email and remark it to them. All right. So we've got step one here and then step two is where we'll actually have them fill out their billing information and so on. All right. So let's click on step one. So here we've actually got the billing section and the shipping and everything else. We'll move it shortly. But before we do so, let's go ahead and create a new section. I'm actually going to name this welcome. All right, and for this section, I'm gonna get this email field here and I'm just gonna drag it onto our new section here. And now we can start moving the section onto step two. So let's move this onto step two. All right, so on step one, all we've got is our email field and now we need to add a terms and condition box. So let's go ahead and add a check box here. All right, let's click settings for the label. We'll just say something like I agree to the terms and conditions. And then you want to obviously link to your terms and conditions as well. And ideally, you'd want to set this field to be required. So they need to tick it before they can move to the next step. All right, so let's just quickly link to our terms and conditions here. So I'll leave the code as well to add a hyperlink in the description. All right, and in between these quotation marks, you'll want to add the link to your terms and conditions page. We need to now start collecting the customer's email address. So we'll click on this settings icon under email address here. And in here we'll enable login slash registration. So what this means is as soon as a customer enters in their email address, the system will automatically check to see if their email address exists. If it does exist, then it will show a password field so they can log in. And if it doesn't exist, we can automatically create an account for them, which will give us the ability to capture that email address, right? And then hopefully put them into your remarketing sequence. All right. But we want to take it a step further. So we don't want to just automatically create an account without them um, agreeing to this. So we will trigger the automatic account creation when they accept our terms and condition. So to do that here where it says login slash registration action here we'll go ahead and select this option here where it says i agree to terms and condition which is this particular checkbox which we created here we can change the step um, name as well so here it says step one we'll say welcome here and then for step two we'll say billing and shipping okay or even just billing all right, so let's head back over to welcome. Since we've got this welcome step and this section's called welcome, I think I'll just remove this and don't have a heading for this particular section. All right, so now let's click on design. I'm going to select this design here. And for the thank you page, I'm going to select this template as well. You we can create one from scratch. Same for the checkout design. I'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how to do that. Let's click settings. Let's enable this. Set it as our global checkout. We can add a name. It's just for internal purposes. But I'm just going to hit save changes. 
All right, and let's head over to our store page and test this out. All right, so here the first step is they need to enter in their email address. All right, and then once they agree to the terms and condition, it will automatically create an account for them, okay? And then hopefully you've got an automation um, set up in the background for when someone creates an account, but they haven't actually made a purchase, then you want to put them for an email sequence. So the customer can hit next and then go ahead and check out. And as I said, if they don't actually complete the purchase, then you can remark it to them. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support.